Hi guys, this is going to be my first uh, build video. Uh, what I have here is a uh, bench that I'm building for my front entranceway. Uh, I, I started this obviously before I was making YouTube videos, but um, I'll give you a quick rundown on what I've done so far to get to this point. Okay, so uh, just keep in mind, I'm going to be painting all of this, this stuff here, the side panels, all that. And the inside, pretty much the whole bottom part is gonna be painted white. The top here is in, it's actually I made this from uh, from ash that I bought from my local uh, hardwood supplier, and it's gonna be stained like dark, like really really dark. So, and then there's the other end. So what I did was, I uh, this is all poplar. This is poplar uh, molding that I bought from my my local hardware store this mahogany panel so what I did was I cut rails and styles and then I uh, and then from the back here uh, let's see you can see that I uh, routed out the back and I sunk my panel in there and uh, screwed that to a face frame that I made <coughs> face frame yeah it's just an MDF bomb that's all I have laying around and some uh, and it's all birch plywood so it's a combination of whatever I had laying around the shop. So what I need to do now is, on well, my top here, it's all loose. I have to router out the edges and all that stuff. But I need to make a backing for this. So I was thinking I'm just going to cut some uh, quarter inch plywood that I have standing up right over there. I think I'm going to brad nail it because it need, the back is going to be seen. So I kind of want it to look pretty and the nail holes are easier to the putty in and a staple hole. So I think the wood glue will pretty much hold it anyways. So I'm gonna get that cut now. I always use my tape measure on the table saw. I don't ever trust the measurements on here because what I have here is it says I got 16 inches exactly. I always measure both sides of the blade. But on my saw, it says I got a 16th, 16 inches and a 16th of an inch. square up one end and then I'm going to flip it around and I'm going to cut it to length which is 45 and a half inches. Now my saw it only uh, it only cuts up to I don't know 14 inches or whatever so I'm going to have to cut it halfway flip it around and finish cutting it the rest of the way. The, uh, the backing to the back of the bench. The bench. Um, I flipped it on its front so that it makes it easier for me to uh, line things up and get it in place. So all I'm going to do is use a, uh, a brad nailer. Um, I would recommend using a brad nailer that's specifically a brad nailer, not a two-in-one like a stapler and brad nailer, just because the firing pin and the two ones are flat and long, so they actually leave, a, they're put, even though you're putting a brad nail in, it actually leaves a big hole, a long, a long hole. I'm going to see if I can 
find something. Uh, maybe I'll include a picture of, of what that looks like in the, in the video, probably somewhere about now. And uh, <clears throat> so, I'm just going to be using a brad nail with 5 8 brad nails in there. It's always important to make sure you're using the right length nails because the last thing you want is nails blowing through the other side of your, your project or whatever you're working on. So, I'm just going to apply a little bit of wood glue here. Sorry if this is uh, boring, you guys. This is my first build video ever. <laughs> hope it's uh, hope it's all right, entertaining. You know, these videos aren't really supposed to be tutorials on how to build things. It's supposed to be mainly for your entertainment. So. Oh yeah, you guys might have noticed too that uh, I don't really have any uh, safety guards on my saws and stuff, and that's because I find them annoying. <laughs> And, and as well for video purposes, it's easier to have them off. So, unless you're my mother, I don't need to hear about it. Hey, that is a perfect fit. Perfect, you think I knew what I was doing. All right, grabs. Just guessing, but yeah. So you guys have probably been wondering what I'm going to be doing about those ugly pocket holes. Well, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to cut a piece of mahogany panel to uh, to cover that up. So uh, I'm just going to take some quick measurements and I'll uh, get that cut on the table saw. and we'll stick it in there. We'll use a few uh, brad nails to hold it on, but we're gonna make sure we don't put any nails in here because we will blow through that. So we gotta make sure we stay around the outside edges. Nothing along the bottom because there's nothing there or hardly anything there. So we won't make sure we don't do anything, put any nails there. So I think what I'll do is I'll just get some glue. And put a good, good amount of glue on the back of there. It's not like it's going to be structural or anything, it's just more purely cosmetic. Here, 
I like to uh, write my name in there. This is where it's good to know how to do cursive. I guess they don't teach that in school anymore, do they? There! Now if anyone ever pulls that off in the future, I know who made it. Okay, put a little underline on it. Okay, now, let me sh see if we can get that in there. Yeah. Oh, beauty. Fits like a glove. Okay, a few bright nails. I won't be writing my name on this side just because why bother? I could do my last name, but eh. Don't know how to spell it. Okay. Well, let's see, this one fits just as nice. And So that bottom part is all finished. It just needs a whole crap load of sanding and stuff, and I hate sanding, but it's gotta be done. And then uh, it just needs some primer and then paint. Now on the top, I'm gonna do a round over on the top edge. Not so sure about the bottom edge. I think I might leave the bottom edge square. I might just give it a little, little quick sanding, get rid of that sharp edge. But I'm gonna be using a, uh, a quarter inch round over bit with a guide bearing on there. So I just have to get that set. Oh, by the way, if you guys are ever looking for a router, I highly recommend this DeWalt. I really like it. It's uh, DeWalt, the D, well, that's for the base, uh, the DW618. It's a two and a quarter horsepower router, variable speed. I really like it. All right, so when router, routering, uh, it's always good to do the cross grain first, or the edge grain, and then do the, uh, the length. Just in case, because sometimes you get a little bit of tear out at the ends, and then usually then when you come do the length, it'll take that, uh, that little tear out right off, and gives it a nice clean edge. So, let's give this a shot. Well, that bench was a lot of fun to make. 
Um, I think it looks great in our foyer. Uh, it was something that we needed for a long time. We, we always we had, always had to sit in the steps there to tie our shoes up. But now it's nice to, to have somewhere to sit. So uh, let me know what you guys think in the comments below. And uh, please remember to like and subscribe.